I don't know where to start, but oh my goodness, as Mo would say, I passed my ankles. I wrote on Friday and I got the result yesterday from CNO, that's College of Nurses, Ontario. It hasn't been an easy journey. At a point, I almost gave up, but Mo encouraged me. He's worse. He's a man of faith, a man of deep faith, I must say. So I kept pushing on because this was my fourth time and like I was almost at the verge of giving up. And then I registered for the live class and the live class actually helped me. That was what made me to like really know my content and I devoted my time like I was working though come back from work i'll queue in at eight o'clock to ten at times i finish tired sleepy but i was still pushing on and uh, like mo said i try to follow what he said to the t this time i did everything he said i made flashcards i reviewed each night before going to bed and the days i'm not working i studied late into the night Every day, my laptop is just on my table. So all I was doing was work, book, work, book. And even when I go to work, I have my the flashcards I have made. I put in my pocket on my break when I'm eating. I'll be looking, I must glance at something. So like everywhere I go, I was, it was all books on me. Like I have my cheat sheets that I jot stuff look at i can't carry my my big notes at times when i'm doing night shift i carry my notebook on my break i just sit down there and be reading reviewing so it was back to back i didn't give myself no break and i followed the live class and after the live class i continued replay like i was i was so thankful to mo that the, the live class was still there we could log in so i was like replaying that because he said just replay like the your brain will pick something so i did that and uh, everything he said i tried to do and uh, like so i practice like all the things he told us that this is what you will see in your exam this is what i'm teaching you i'm not teaching you how to become a nurse so I followed what he taught. I practiced those system, everything we did. I practiced them so that if at all any question come my way, I'll be able to attempt it. And also prayer. I prayed and I have faith because Mo strengthened me too with his faith, his uh, enthusiasm, his, you know. So that also kept me going. So I prayed, I kept praying that God should help me to retain what I'm reading, like retentive memory. So I prayed and I worked hard. I tried. It wasn't easy. At a point, I'm, I was so tired. And then a few days to the exams, the anxiety that has to go with it because I, I had to go to Toronto to do my exams. I flew into Toronto. I booked the exam because I was looking for any center. So I wasn't really conscious of how far or close it was to my test center. So I flew into Toronto. I'm actually in Sudbury in a place called Elliot Lake, like two hours from where I am to Sudbury before I can take a flight to Toronto. So it was a long trip for me that day. I woke up in the morning, very hopeful, said my prayers got ready entered the car and i drove down to the airport packed my car like mo said this time i learned a lot like i say i followed what mo said to the t because you see don't tell everybody it's not everybody that is happy for you what you are doing and it is true so like i kept everything to myself nobody knew i was going to test i just got up got ready good thing i wasn't walking i went 
And then when I got to Toronto, I said, okay, I'll do what Mo say because Mo say drive to your test center a day before. I wasn't driving, so I took the bus, the train. I, I didn't even know Toronto very well, especially the place I booked the exam, east of Toronto. So I asked people, I was holding the address of a person view center. I was asking for direction. I took the train straight to the center to make sure to see the center where i will be testing the next day i went there i saw the center and then i started looking for a hotel where to stay accommodation unfortunately for me there was no hotel around that east of toronto uh, shepherd avenue i got to toronto around noon 12. i got to the from the airport to the test center was about an hour I got there, so one o'clock I was there. From one o'clock I was going around looking for where to get accommodation. I searched nearby hotels, so at last I found one, but it was far off. So I went there for the night, I slept. The following morning, my exam was eight o'clock. So five o'clock I was up, got ready. Six o'clock I left the hotel because it's a long way back again to the center and i didn't want to go late rushing and panicking so i got a bus and then got to the center like seven o'clock i was at the center and few others and were many at that center that morning i was like wow some came for pm most of us for rn so we sat there when it was 7 30 they opened the door let us in they started the process 